Like we just live to work most of the times. We live to work. Hey guys. So today we are doing like a little get ready chit chat video. So we have a lot to talk about. So we are going to go ahead and jump right into it. Where's my primer? I am going to an NBA game solo, solo dolo. So we are going to get ready for that. We're gonna do my makeup, pick out my outfit. And we have a lot to talk about you guys. Cause it's been a lot going on. I need to catch you all up. It's been a while. I've been neglecting you guys, honestly. And I've also been neglecting me. Like we have to talk guys. We have to talk cause it's been a mess. So I think we'll just start off with i know i told you guys i would do a q a video at 100k and i did not <laughs> i did not do it yet you know what actually under this video put some new questions under it so i'm going to use the questions that are already there but i'm also going to do some new questions too so definitely do that i'm 26 and i don't know what i'm doing at all i'm i don't know what's going on <laughs> i don't know what's going on you guys i know people say like when you turn like 25, your frontal lobe develops or whatever. But I just feel like now at my big age of 26, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at all, you guys. So your girl is single. I feel like because I was so busy in that relationship, I really didn't have time to really do what I love to do, which is make videos. And YouTube has been my passion for so long. I've been making videos since I was a kid, you guys. Like I've been doing little skits and actually editing videos since I was a kid on Windows Movie Maker. And I really just haven't wanted to do anything that I love doing. Like I, I just didn't want to do it <laughs> at all, you guys. I just do feel like the wrong relationship can just really take you on a path that you really don't want to be on at all, at all, you guys. I have been working on getting a little more into my faith. Definitely health, definitely health wise because I am getting up there in age a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I need to work out. I need to eat better. Like I would eat like a tray of cookies and ice cream every night, <laughs> every night because you know, that's what I grew up doing. So I always did that. And now I'm just trying to be a little more health conscious, but guys there's a lot of tea i need to spill back to hitting 100k um i hit 100k you guys which is crazy so i feel like anyone who starts a youtube channel their goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers like that's your goal because you know you get the little plaque at 100k like you're excited that's your goal and let me tell you this you guys <laughs> we're gonna get into some tea straight away i remember telling my ex or a boyfriend at the time, like at this time I had 40,000 subscribers. It happened so fast that jump from 40K to 100K. I remember telling him when I get my YouTube plaque, it's gonna mean more to me than my degree ever meant to me. <laughs> so yes, I do have a degree, a bachelor degree, but when I started YouTube, I started YouTube going into my junior year of college. And let me tell you guys, I used to skip class to film YouTube videos and do little hauls in my dorm room. So if you remember, if you are all the way back then, like you're an OG OG. YouTube was really my priority even in college, but I went ahead and finished it out. 100,000 subscriber plaque is a huge, huge deal for all YouTubers. And I really wanna thank you guys, cause that's like huge. I know like, so most of those people did come from like a Nicki Minaj short, but they still came like i still got my plaque it's up it is up you guys i'm super happy but at the time this happened i think i got my plaque like back in may i was depressed like it was i was just so sad like getting the thing you dreamed of like for years i've been doing youtube for like six to seven years now getting the thing you always dreamed of and you don't feel like you deserve it you don't feel like you did anything for it or you have a little bit of imposter syndrome. And I've always heard of imposter syndrome, but I never really, I don't know. I didn't feel like that would happen to me, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't even know if I can consider it imposter syndrome. I guess I'm still dealing with it a little bit now. And of course it is like a huge accomplishment, you guys, so my parents got me two cakes so that was very exciting i got a lot of nice messages from people people i didn't even know people i knew like i got so many great messages and mind you at this time i'm in a relationship i got nothing <laughs> i got nothing nothing from that person so 
I don't know. I think that also contributed to me like not being happy about hitting 100K or not feeling like it's good enough or like it's really an accomplishment. So that I think that really affected my mental health. I didn't get flowers, didn't get dinner, anything like that. And even talking about this on camera is so difficult, but I'm 26 years old. I'm getting up there. Not, you know, I'm not old, but like I'm getting up there. And what I want my channel to really be is like a reflection of me. Like I do love wigs. I do love hauls now. I love me a good haul, but I do want you guys to know me and I want my subscribers to be here for me, you know? I want my channel to be a little more vloggy, a little more let's talk at the camera, let's just chat, chat, chat. I want a little more of that. And of course, still wig, still a little bit of everything, bow, 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 but I wanna talk to you guys. I want you guys to know me. I want us to talk back, like let's get on Instagram, exchange messages here and there, like talk in the comment section. Like I want it to be my channel not like just not just like wigs all the time so so once i did hit a hundred thousand i did bring it up to this person <laughs> that hey you didn't really celebrate me i want to be celebrated a little more so hold on let's just go ahead and do a little story but we're gonna do a real story time some other time you guys maybe when i'm a little more healed but we'll do a real story time now but of course you hit 100k but you have to wait weeks for your plaque to come in so, I mean, I thought, okay, hitting 100K, they don't have to celebrate me right then, maybe when my plaque comes. I expressed, hey, I thought I would be celebrated like a little more, and nothing happened. And then the plaque comes, nothing happens. And once I bring this up, I'm told, well, you need to hit a million. <laughs> you need to hit a million? Um, okay, thank you, thanks a lot. I'm told I did not celebrate you because you should hit a million. Like what? Especially like I've expressed, hey, this would mean more to me than my degree. I feel like any accomplishment, you take someone out. Like that's just common courtesy, in my opinion. Like someone gets a promotion, someone gets a raise, someone graduates, someone honestly gets a divorce. Like you take them out. <laughs> like that's what you do but I didn't get that. And I was already feeling like a little bit of that imposter syndrome feeling. So that definitely was like, ah, I feel like that might've just pushed me away from YouTube to where I just didn't feel like doing it too much anymore. Like I also do believe like posting shorts a little more, like the shorter YouTube videos can affect your analytics. Also my videos aren't being pushed out to all of the subscribers that were here before my Nicki Minaj video. So, and then I'm like, wow, my views aren't even that good anymore. So I just was devastated, you guys. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. It's not that I didn't want to do YouTube. I just didn't know what I wanted to do at that moment <laughs> at all. Yeah, I'm really getting back into the swing of things. Like I honestly love making certain types of videos. Like there's a shift in my energy when I'm editing, when I'm filming, when I'm talking depending on the video like Shein hauls like I'm like bow, 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 bow. like I'm so excited to try on those clothes every time I love Shein hauls to be honest any kind of fashion video lookbooks I need to do a fall lookbook I love those I mean the wig videos are great I like doing the wig videos that I buy to be honest like because I love 40 inch wigs like I love those videos but let me tell you those sponsored videos I have to do every now and then. I do sell those wigs, but those pay the bills. So I have to do them here and there. Like those are help me be able to buy the wigs myself from AliExpress. So that's also why I do those. Did I put on primer? Yeah, I did. I think so. I really, back to my YouTube, you guys. I do want to do like chit chat videos. I want to talk to you guys, but I tried this when I first started my YouTube channel and just the comments I was getting from my family it made me delete like my story time and at the time I was maybe 20 I might have been 20 that was about six years ago 20 or something so you know what your family thinks is really really important at that age to a lot of people like to most people right 
So I deleted it and I felt like I could not be honest on this channel with you guys. Like it's some things that have happened that I wanna share with you guys. I was engaged and then what happened? Where, where is it? <laughs> like it's sometimes it's things that I want to share with you guys. I can't always share them because it's like, dang, I know my family is watching, but you know what? At this point, look, I'm paying my own bills. So what can they really say at the end of the day? To be honest, even though they're watching this, I love you guys, but um, what can they really say at the end of the day? I am paying my own bills. Like, what are they gonna do? I feel like we have a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. So I'm just gonna randomly turn this thing on some nights and just do a little story time. Cause I have a, like stories galore for you guys. I really do. I really do. And you know what? I, I enjoy TikTok, but I don't like TikTok. Like, I like how personal YouTube can get. I feel like TikTok is like so much information, you guys. You really don't ha always have a chance to like really, really connect with like the creator, in my opinion. Unless you're, they're like really, really big, like Raymonte or something. Like I be watching a little Raymonte and Dre and all of them. I watch them a little bit. <laughs> but like, I feel like a lot of times you really don't get a chance to just connect. And then if you connect, you're gonna be going for like, you're gonna swipe like a hundred times and there's a hundred other people on there. I feel like YouTube is more of a, it's just more personal. It's like, you're dedicated to me. I'm dedicated to talking to you guys. I do like that. I still will do my TikToks here and there. I, of course, I still want to do my TikToks and all of that, but yeah, I am leaning more towards just yapping on YouTube. I've basically been single for two weeks at this point, you guys. So it was a mess, guys. It was a messy, 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 but I'm gonna save that for its own video. I'm gonna save it for its own video. <laughs> We're gonna do maybe like a little story time girl talk or something. But guys, it was a hot mess, a hot, hot mess. Like I'm a Sagittarius and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Do with that what you will. Even though like I really, I like to say that, huh, those zodiac signs are not real, but I see things sometimes in people and I'm like, yeah, I kind of see the cancer in you. I kind of see the Pisces in you sometimes like, I'm sorry, there's no way the moon does not affect anything. Like, I really do believe the moon can affect our mood and stuff, but oh my goodness, I have so many stories for you guys. But we're gonna have to talk about those in a little bit, like another day. That's for another day, you guys. But I don't know. I've been going to run club and just really trying to stay as busy as possible. That's one reason I'm at the gym, gym, gym. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that like, hey, Brittany is always posting her workouts and she's at the gym. And yeah, that's really what's been keeping me busy and just somewhat sane, like somewhat sane. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's keeping me completely sane, but it's doing the best it can. I would give it that. Uh, that's also why I joined the run club. People say once you get to your like late 20s, everybody just starts running and doing marathons. And honestly, that's where I am right now. I'm at the point where I'm doing marathons. And well, I'm not doing marathons, but I'm at the point where I'm running. <laughs> I'm definitely running right now. So that is cool. You know, people these days, I think it's really, people are becoming a little more aware of it, but I think so many of us are just lonely these days. The world is a mess right now, you guys. It's an absolute mess. Between like, I think, I don't even know. I guess it is like some of social media's fault and especially TikTok. I do think TikTok ruined society. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do think TikTok ruined everything. The adults are becoming a lot more lonely because we just don't have like uh, third spaces is what like they say, but we live to work basically. Those cities aren't walkable. We don't live like super close to our friends like we did in college dorms or something, or even in school, or even in school which is one reason I really love living in an apartment because I like the specific kind of apartment building instead of like an apartment complex where you're kind of like outside because it really is kind of more of that college dorm feel. And in my apartment specifically, we have like a lot of events and I love going to those. I just be talking, like I just chat. 
Like I do really, really love that. And just trying to meet people, trying to get to know people. I'm still on my journey to find friends. If you all have seen my um, previous video from some months ago where I was talking about I wanted to find friends, I'm still looking to find friends. You know, Run Club, I wish I started Run Club even sooner. Everybody there, they're looking for friends. Everybody's just talking. Like I've met like so many people already from Run Club, it's insane. It is crazy. So Run Club, if you have one by you or a pickleball club or anything like that, I definitely suggest joining that, you guys. But as far as dating, it's just so much advice out there. It's too much. I don't think we were meant to have this much information. I really don't. And I'm going, I'm trying to learn how to just unplug, just completely unplug from everything. Like we have so so much information so everybody has a podcast on relationships everybody is giving advice it's so much it's just too much information we know too much about each other i'm just i'm tired you guys i'm getting really tired of the way society is right now i really am tempted to just pack up and move life is getting crazy everything is getting crazy mm, i don't know if i even like these lashes but they might have to do today Cause I really don't want to change them. These are very spiky, but they look like a little better than I thought they would. Like these are cute. See, I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like I've just been yapping, 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 and not doing a lot of makeup at all. But I am really excited for this game because I freaking love a good basketball game, you guys. Even though it is still preseason, which is great because all I care about is having food. To be honest, as long as they got food, I'm good. Like that's great for me. That's really all I care about. I mean, the player's still going to be there. I'm going to be able to see Ja on the bench probably. He's not probably going to he's probably not going to play play. But like I'm fine with that to be honest. And I'm excited cuz like I'm right behind the Grizzlies bench really. So, we're going to get to see Ja today, you guys. We're going to get to see Ja Morant. The little the girlies love him. But yeah, I'm just TikTok is just throwing me, you guys. I am just tired of it. I'm getting overwhelmed in general. This brow looks a little intense it's like i also have been a little frustrated with like the talk of aesthetics every week every well let's say every month it's a new aesthetic are we allowed to just exist and be ourselves at all like every week it's clean girl aesthetic it's office siren aesthetic it's mob wife aesthetic like can we just exist like the truth is i don't know if maybe i just need to find more of my identity or something, but I don't have an aesthetic. Every day I wake up, I have a new aesthetic. Some days I'm sporty. Some days I'm chic. Some days I'm a baddie. Some days I wanna be like streetwear, like bow, 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 fashion, fashion, fashion. Like I just change with the vibe. Like every day, like today I might, I'm, I'm feeling like a little streetwear-y, but hmm. I want to be a body, but I also, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. We'll see what I feel like when we get to the clothes. And then I just feel like, dang, can I just be me? Or will anybody like that? Like, if my aesthetic isn't always luxurious, will anybody like that? That's really why I just want to show up as myself, especially on YouTube. And whoever likes it, they're going to stay and watch this super long video of me talking. And whoever doesn't, they're, they're just not. They're going to get off of it. And that's okay. That's fine. I don't know, life is just so weird right now, but you know, I hope I'm just finding my flow a little bit more, getting back to me and who I am. Like, I don't know, like even making videos, like if I'm making a TikTok, it's like, do I need to change the way I talk? Do I need to change my cadence? Do I need to change my pitch? Like everyone is like, and today after, after work, I went to da 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 and after this, and I always go to Pilates at, like, it's it's just, it's like, do I need to change? Bow, 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 like, I don't know, you guys, I don't know. So I just want to exist and be me in the most real sense. Like, this is why I love Nicki Minaj, you guys. Like, hey, let me stop going on a tangent, but this is why I love Nicki Minaj. Like, me and Nicki, we're locked in, we're like this. Like, I feel like we're both people who have a lot of personalities. We have a lot of them. How I want to show all of it. Like the people who get it are going to get it and the people who don't won't. This season is just all about standing firm into me and my identity and really 
being who I actually am. Standing firm in boundaries is super important. That's like, I think that's the biggest thing for me to work on. I've, I've noticed this problem in all of my relationships, actually. Romantic and in like family relationships. Like, I like boundaries. I do. I used to have them. They were super strong. I used to have them. And I feel like I was kind of shamed out of them and told I was wrong, but I used to have them. Um, and with friends too, and with friends. Let me not forget friends. What I've noticed is I will lack boundaries. And then when I violate someone's boundaries, now I'm mad that they had boundaries. Like, I feel like, wait, you crossed mine a million times and I didn't say anything. So when I cross yours, it's a problem. That's not right. Like, how am I going to blame them for having boundaries. See, I'm just mad at them for doing what I didn't or what I couldn't. So, you know, that's just something I'm really aware of in a lot of my relationships. I'm getting so, I've found myself so angry with so many people for having boundaries for me. When I feel like, oh, I let this slide, I let this slide, I let this slide. So if I didn't let those things slide, I don't think it would have ever gotten to the point of me crossing their boundary. So that's just something I'm noticing. I'm noticing you guys. But that's why I did that video a while ago of like healthy like habits I'm trying to implement like journaling, meditation. I haven't been meditating or really journaling. Like, but I wanna journal more. Sorry, I have to do this eyeliner. Ooh, that's foxy. You see the difference? Like that's, that's sexy. That, that just turned everything very sexy. Yeah, but the girls that get it will get it and the girls that won't, won't. It's just that simple. Like, yeah, that's very sexy. It's giving sexy now. I'm going to use the one size setting spray. I just got this. This wig is just like a wig. I kind of do like TikTok sponsorships sometimes, you know, bringing a little extra money via TikTok. Yeah, this wig is okay. Like it looks frizzy all the freaking time. Like I did just wash it today, so it's a little less frizzy, but this wig gets frizzy so fast, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, but I love the coloring. Like I love when they actually do one B and then have like a blonde color in it. Like I don't like when it's like that 427 most of the time, most of the time, but yeah, this one is actually nice. So let's do something to this head now. Let's do something to this head. Okay, looking right now, I feel like, hmm, did I put my wig back too far? It's just, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But I'm just going to pop some wand curls in here really quickly. I'm probably gonna have to film a TikTok on here too. I wanna do like a little TikTok get ready with me, but yeah, I'm just going to pop a few wand curls in here. That's the only time I feel like this hair looks good, you guys. Like. If you all, uh, if I ever do a sponsored YouTube video for a company and you guys really want to know if the hair is good, just DM me and ask me, or you can ask me in the comments because I will let you know, or I'll let you know if I didn't wear it. And most of the time I have resell those wigs anyway. Like I sell them pretty quickly too. Like I don't usually wear the wigs too long unless I really like it. Like I like the one B look here, but like I usually sell the wigs pretty fast. So if you ever want it, if you ever want a wig like I did for like a sponsored company, let me know. Let me know. But yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay guys, so my hair is somewhat done. I'm really finna pluck this closure a little more cause it's not given, but I'm finna pluck up here. Cause I feel like it's just a bit too thick. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear immediately. <laughs> like I got 10 minutes, you guys. Guys, I'm like kind of running late. So I'm not even like a baddie baddie. Like I wanted to really put a fit on. Like this is just a black little top and some jeans and I'm gonna wear some tennis shoes like I really wanted to give like this is decent like like okay but like ugh. it's okay it's decent it's decent it'll work it'll work this is me basic okay so I made it to the game and guys they have this new taco spot in our stadium and I love it love it love it but I was here for the food honey I ended up getting my nachos I always get and there are my Yeezys I just wanted to add a few clips of the game. This is how close I was. Y'all can see jaw. You see them dreads over there. Like I was right behind the bench to the, to the point. It slightly made me uncomfortable because I'm right in the player's face. But this is like a little back lounge section. So when you are closer, you do get access to like a lounge in most stadiums. So this is that section like super duper cool. Like 
I just love going to a good basketball game. So we did end up losing, but I had a great time. I know I yapped a lot of this video, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye. I told myself that since this taco spot is now in the form, I was gonna get tacos, but all I want is some nachos now. All I want is nachos. So, I'm gonna get nachos.